Hi folks, welcome to today's video best positions for low back pain relief. Now, I know you make a lot of good content for those folks out there suffering with low back pain problems, such as cervical nerve pain, herniated discs, bulging discs, lumbar stenosis, lumbar arthritis. If that's you, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna be notified when I make some great new content pop up on YouTube for you guys to get back on the road to recovery. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So folks, today I wanna to talk about positions that you can go into at home to give you some low back pain relief. Now, low back pain has many, many causes. You could have been gardening too hard. You could have been doing some extra different sport activities. It could be from herniated disc, bulging disc, many, many factors. So when you're in that acute stage of pain, it's really important to try to find a position that you can get comfortable in and get some relief, okay? So I'm gonna go over five different positions today that can work for many, many people. As I said, I'm gonna show you five. If one doesn't work for you, try one of the other ones. There should be one in there which will give you some relief. Now, one of the first things we typically wanna do is take pressure off of the spine. Um, the people say, oh, you know, lying on the floor. Lying on the floor is not as effective as what I'm about to show you. Why? Because there's a muscle that runs from the top of your uh, femur, your thigh bone, through your pelvis up into the lower back region. It's called the iliopsoas muscle. When you lie flat, that muscle is basically pulling on your lower back. So you want to elevate or, or get the legs up somehow, and that'll take stress off the back, let the muscles relax properly. So what we've got here, it's just a box, but it could be a wall, could be the edge of the couch, could be a little like poof, um, could be you know some sort of chair, but you wanna basically get up there on the floor and then just put your legs up on the wall, okay? And relax the legs on the wall. This way, all the stress is taken off your lower back. You might want to put a towel or a mat underneath your back here just in case there's like it's you know on a wooden floor or something. And just relax, take big, big belly breaths. So you breathe in, expand that stomach, <clears throat> and then breathe back out again. And you want to stay here, even there up to eight, five, ten minutes or so, just breathing, and you should start to get some relaxation relief in the lower back. If it is very tense, if it is very tight, it is quite normal in the first 30 seconds, 45 seconds, to feel like this very kind of like, oh, acute stabbing, and then it will just, it's like a cramp, or Charlie Horse, Americans would say, and then it just relaxes off, okay? So don't be worried if you get some sort of, a, sort of almost like a, a muscle contraction type pain in the first 35, 45 seconds, that should relax off, okay? Now, this position might not work for you, so you can also try the prone face down position. So with this one, what I prefer to do is to grab some sort of um, pillow, one or two pillows perhaps, and we're gonna put them just at the sort of top of the thigh, kind of mid pelvis area. And we're gonna lie face down. Now you're gonna lie face down, I'm gonna put my, my palms face down on the ground, head in the back of my hands there, and just, again, deep belly breathing, one, two, three, four minutes, however long you need to. So I'm probably gonna lose you on the mic when I go down here, so just watch me carefully. So down here, top of my thighs, right there. Yep, that should be good. Face down, <clears throat> let's just move it around, here we go, and breathing. <sighs> now, when I place this pad up around the mid pelvis region, it allows my spine to go into neutral, even a little bit of flexion but non-loaded which can give me some release on that low back pain cause. Now for some people blind prone doesn't work you need to do some extension. So same position you're going to be face down and we're going to start hands on the back uh, sorry head in the back of the hands and you just want to bring your arms out to the side and bring yourself up into this position here. So I'm not going into full Cobra, okay, um, just slightly off the ground. If that's too much for you, you might want to start just with a chin. So put your um, chin in the back of one hand. And deep belly breathing there. Depending on the root cause of your low back injury, you may find that this partial extension does give you some relief. And again, you'd stay here for one to two minutes, 
deep breathing, don't hold your breath, and then slowly come out of it, and then slowly get yourself back up onto your feet. Okay? Now, for some people, you may need lying flat on the back with something under the knees. This is also quite good for sleeping. So we've got my pretend pillow here. It's just a, a weighted bag. You'll put that on the ground. And you want to lie on the back and place this under these. Now this could be pillows, this could be rolled up towels, but they find that just lying here like this just gives them enough relief. So we're not talking legs up the wall, it's too hard for them. Um, perhaps they've got some sciatica pain or something, but this position here just elevates the knees, it takes the stress off of that iliopsoas muscle and can give you some nice relief. Again, two, three, four, five, ten minutes, however long you can stay in this position. If it's giving you relief, fantastic. You can try it a few times a day if it does bring you relief, okay? Now, that aside, we've got another one, one last one, number five for you guys. Now, I'm going to use the box, but this could be more likely edge of the couch, um, end of your bed perhaps, and this is a type of passive decompression, which can also help people get some pain relief. So this is just to protect my, my body, basically this mat here. So the idea is, I'm going to let the lower body hang off the edge, and the act of that lower body helps to kind of relax and stretch out those potentially tense, spasmed muscles herniated disc, take some of the load off of those compressed tissues. So we basically want to get the hips kind of on the edge here, okay, and we're letting the lower body, just the weight of it, hang, and that gives us that little bit of decompression. Now you might lose me again here like so. This is obviously tough on my pelvis, I wouldn't expect you to do it on this wooden box. And I just take hold of something here, and I, on my toes, and I just let that lower body get pulled by the weight of my legs. <sighs> Big deep belly breaths again. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five minutes, however long you can manage if it is bringing you relief. Remember guys, all these exercises, if they cause an uptick in pain, stop, move on, try another one, all right? Now, any questions, comments about those activities, exercises, hit me up in the comment section. I'm here to help you guys, all right? And on that note, if you are out there struggling with your own low back pain issues, sciatica nerve pain, herniated discs, etc., strained muscles, hit me up for a free advice call. Yeah, you can book a link. There's a booking link down below. Book a link. We'll jump on a video call together. I will give you some free advice to get you back on the road to recovery. All right, guys, listen, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.